Gemini. Welcome to your reading. For those that do not know me, I am Tabitha, Psychic, Medium, Healer, and Starseed. Okay, this is going to be a reading for the zodiac sign Gemini. It is intended for August, but whenever this message reaches you, regardless of your sign or month, um, there could be a message here for you. Let's get into it. So the angel that's coming through for you guys this month is Archangel Uriel, which is the light of God. So this Archangel actually helps us with like understanding, um, intellect, epiphany, school, public speaking, writing, um, yeah, anything to do with that, like anything to do with school, public speaking, writing, understanding, um, ideas, insight, conversations, wisdom, and having epiphanies from that, this Archangel Uriel is really going to help you to understand. Um, so call on that Archangel this month. And then for your crystal, you guys got Argonite, so to find your center. Um, anyone that's feeling out of alignment or needs some major rest can really benefit from this crystal. Um, they're saying to put it like near your bed or like if you're meditating, um, this is really going to help you. Um, which is interesting because you guys also got this card that says like what is not aligned. So this month you guys might really need to, to figure out or work with Argonite Crystal to kind of figure out um, what is not aligned or what needs to change. Um, and also to like uh, what's coming through for you guys, it, they're saying inner temple devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. So meditation is coming through and really strong again because um, they're talking about this meditation cushion pillow. <laughs> Just uh, make a sacred spot where you can take time to connect with source and and. Um, connect with your heart portal to figure out what it is that is not aligned with your life anymore that needs to go that's probably causing you stress without you even realizing okay so from the starseed oracle you guys had star brother Horus energy protection loyalty safety and trust so i don't know if you guys know much about Horus, but he is the son of um osiris and isis um he was a, a god in Egypt in Egyptian mythology so um, you can check him out but he did end up defeating a uh, set which was um, Horace's brother who attacked him or killed him or well he re he was erected so maybe he didn't necessarily kill him but definitely attacked him um, so anyways uh, Horus energy is coming through for you guys um, like they said protection loyalty safety trust know that you are being divided like you're being watched over by the divine um, and they're also saying you can also call an Archangel Michael to help with protection as well there's also crystals that you can use I find anything um, black in the crystal kingdom really helps to absorb negative energy or uh, it also helps to protect a lot. Tekatite, very specifically. Tiger's eye is also a protection stone. I believe malachite actually might be as well. Um, but just know that your star family is also watching over you guys. And you guys also got whale and oracle elders. Share your song, frequency or sound, diving deep. So this has uh, got a really beautiful Syrian uh, vibe to it, this card. So um, we all have like codes that we're supposed to share throughout this time. They really want you guys to share your voice. Um, it, you got this card that says share your voice, cut it, come out of the cave, prosecution and expression. Um, so the star family your elders um, especially if you resonate with Sirius star which is attached to Egypt so it's interesting that you got Horus um, but this is a, a beautiful energy this is planet B energy aquatic being and you guys have a beautiful song and frequency you guys have um, knowledge to share you have a voice you have a story you have you just being you um, so they really want you guys to come out of the cave that we all feel like we're in and dive deep into um, your true being. Okay, let's get into it. So you guys are actually starting the month off with some sort of like offer or some sort of gain here. You have the Knight of Pentacles coming through. So uh, this is something solid and stable, something reliable. It's not the quickest um, moving night. So this may have taken a while, but you, when this night arrives, you can usually expect some sort of promotion, pay raise, a new opportunity in business or to make um, or 
new opportunity for something solid and stable within your finances or within your career. Um, this can also be something tangible. So some of you could be receiving some sort of gift. Um, but uh, it is something that is uh, solid and stable, can help in areas of finance. And then you guys have this Queen of Cups here. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or just someone who um, is very loving. Uh, this person would be very creative, very generous, very uh, maybe even spiritual. This um, queen makes a really good mother. She just really cares about how everyone feels and um, what she can do for others. So it's a very loving energy coming through here. Uh, very creative, like I was saying. Um, also very intuitive, a very intuitive queen. Um, she is ruled by, by emotion. So um, there is also a lot of emotion there and she really understands human emotions, which is makes her really good with people. Um, so there could have been some sort of like ending or death um, or some sort of like transformation. A lot of us have, have tra transformed, um, especially probably since the new year, since 2020. Um, so this is all part of this this rebirth of, of Earth as well that the planet planet is going through at this time this this shift. Um, so we're all emerging now as as who we are. Um, so for some of you though, uh, I am just picking up on some sort of little maybe ending here. Um, and for others, there is going to be this this transformation that takes place. Uh, very. Very specifically for some of you, you could be um, breaking down old systems and templates or challenging authority figures um, or just uh, maybe even challenging beliefs. This is not because you guys are trying to be like a pain or anything like that. This is because you're trying to break down those old systems so that we can rebuild, okay? You're trying to figure out what is not aligned not only with you, but like with the world that's coming through. Um, so this can also represent some sort of like, um, something formal. So there could be some sort of contract or like marriage, or this can be some sort of like hierarchy as well, some big corporation or organization. Um, so there you, some of you could be leaving one job to go to another. There might be new contracts. There could be like maybe a break in a contract, or some of you might just be elevating to a higher level, uh, within your company or organization. There's like a transformation happening. Um, and like I said, I just, I saw like, uh, for some of you, um, you know, there, there could have been some sort of ending as well in, in, um, some sort of, uh, maybe like relationship or ego or whatever it was. Uh, but you guys do have the magician here in the first week. So this is someone who can create whatever it is that they want. Um, this person has abilities. This person um, is now realizing uh, kind of like their worth as well. And there's a lot of emotion attached to this. So there's a lot of emotions of like joy and creativity and um, things maybe you've never felt before and like or excitement and joy that you haven't felt in a long time that might even make you feel like a kid again. Um, and this is this is all like some of you could be extremely powerful manifestors. So really use that to your ability or like law of attraction. Some of you might um, do really well with incantation. So like, you know, doing like some sort of spell or like prayers or whatever it is um, you can use crystals divination tools when this card comes up it is telling you to use all of your resources at your disposal to create whatever it is that you guys want um, and so all these emotions come with that along with your ships so your ships are coming in you're gonna start to see that there in that first week of August that your ships are coming in um, but moving into the second week this could cause you a little bit of confusion. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of ways you can go, a lot of different avenues. There's also just a lot on your mind, a lot going on in there. Um, so they're saying that, um, once again, that meditation is really going to help at that, at that time of the month when you're, when you're feeling that. Um, so like I said, if you guys are getting some sort of like job offer, um, I see someone here that's really like passionate, fired up, motivated, uh, like it's a, it's a, Go getter, go starter, like doesn't like to dilly dally. Um, they kind of just like dive right in. Um, so we do have this energy here. So some of you might even be diving into many different topics or avenues, or um, there is just this passionate and fiery energy that's coming in towards you or brewing even within you. 
Um, there is a celebration that could be taking place there in the second uh, week of August. Um, there's something worth celebrating. Once again, it seems really passionate, fired up. It's, it's uh, full of creativity. Um, I'm not sure exactly what this celebration is for you guys, but for a lot of you, uh, it is attached to that kind of like energy. Someone could even be like rushing in to invite you to some sort of like celebration or, or something like that. Um, and then we have the Eight of Swords here though. So um, just make sure you guys aren't um, like, especially with all those thoughts going on, this is somebody kind of like entrapping themselves mentally or feel, feeling physically trapped, but you're not. It's like all like you kind of, um, kind of like self brought on in a sense. Um, so that is coming through with you got for you guys along with the Queen of Swords. So um, someone could be an air sign, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, this person, so it could very well represent you guys, but this is someone who favors like logic and knowledge. Um, they're very methodical, they're very detail oriented. Um, this person could be really good with their words, like um, the words that they choose to speak, I'm hearing. Um, this person, is very like loyal they're very loyal um isn't someone to like mess around with um but they are extremely trustworthy they are they are loyal but they'll shoot it to you straight as well um this is definitely usually a queen you don't want to cross this is the queen of swords she'll, she'll cut people out if she needs to um so this could also just be you guys like um needing to cut things out as well uh which was kind of coming up like what's not aligned with you anymore um and uh, being really like methodical or like um, really like intellectual about it and um, and then this creates a, a sudden change for you guys okay so you do have the tower here uh, in your second week of August so it could be something just really unexpected um, it could be slightly uncomfortable uh, it can be sometimes destructive but this power is coming in to, um, I heard enlighten you, okay? But it's also coming in to break down those old systems so that we can rebuild. Um, and you have it here with divine wisdom. So magic, Isis, um, knowledge is, is what's coming here, but very ancient knowledge that needs to be shared um, or expressed uh, is what's coming up. Um, also too like there's a like there's this very magical feel so you guys are definitely going to um be very powerful like your manifesting uh abilities will probably really be on point um your even your guidance or your downloads um are gonna be really like from the divine is like what's coming through okay um, so moving into your third week, uh, some of you might get asked out on a date or you might get invited somewhere. Um, some of you um, could, someone could even express how they feel about you. You might have had like no knowledge of this. Um, but anyways, this is the Knight of Cups. He does come bringing like a message of love or, or feelings or a confession. Um, he is a, a knight that is more... Um, <laughs> enlightened that's not what it's gonna say it's gonna say creative uh it is a uh, representative water sign so basically under scorpio um okay but we also have the chariot here so like moving on uh movement also realizing now that you are like the master like we got this like kind of mastery coming through or like really real like really coming into your gifts maybe you will even almost for some of you, you could be moving some of you i'm hearing moving on um, I am also hearing about a car for some of you. Some of you might be purchasing um, a car or getting a car. Um, yeah, okay, some of you could be giving up your car because you realize you didn't need it anymore during um, quarantine. Okay, so we do have the Four of Swords here. So if you are feeling kind of like under the weather in the third week there, just make sure you are taking the time to rest and recuperate. Um, even if you're within a partnership and you're needing some time um, alone, just maybe let your partner know and, and take that time to, to rest and um, do what you guys got to do. Um, uh, but this is a card of, of like solitude and uh, like rest and recuperation. And also just being still. Um, but it's interesting because you have like movement and then you have this like 
uh, you know, like stillness that comes in. Um, but we do have a partnership here or a union. So this can sometimes represent marriage. This is the four of wands. Um, so this is a happy domestic bliss partnership that's full of like unconditional love, um, communication, trust, loyalty, compassion, understanding, um, all of that. Um, so for some of you, like you could have been at a, at a standstill is coming through, or like some of you could have even been at a crossroads. You may have really been patiently waiting for something to maybe even pay out. Um, and so now, uh, you know, like you could even be in a state of like re reevaluation. Um, they are telling you to let go of uh, material possessions or power or anything that you are like really holding on tightly to. This is usually someone that the, the four the four of pentacles can sometimes be like greediness as well. It's, it's someone holding on to their material wealth really um, tightly. Um, Sorry, guys, just give me one minute here. Yeah, okay, so especially if some of you felt, like, left out in the cold or um, especially even, like, spiritually, um, this is the, the part of sometimes, like, spiritual bankruptcy or feeling left out in the cold or left behind. Um, so that might be something that some of you need to purge or get rid of as, as well. So moving into your last week, um, you have the Nine of Cups here, so wishes and desires. So once again, you guys are really going to have that magical touch, so really make sure you're like manifesting whatever it is that you guys want for yourselves, um, really tapping into that heart space, making sure that you're dropping things that don't align with you, and really tapping into what it is that you guys want. It looks like there's going to be, your or your wish fulfillment is um, this creative project that's coming through, or some sort of new beginning that is full of like a lot of passion and creativity that I'm hearing the Midas touch. Um, so this could be part of the opportunity that you guys had coming at the beginning of the month. Um, for some of you, uh, it's actually kind of interesting. Uh, your line of work could have to do with like your shadow work. So like it could have to somewhat do with like your traumas or like the darker side or like um, yin and yang is like also coming through. Um, healing, like esoteric. Um, also too, like um, some of you may have the opportunity to be really like your work might be extremely creative and you might be able to to transmute some of your energy like some of like the, the trauma or um you know grief or anything like that uh you might be able to really like channel it and transmute it into art um on this new journey um and then you have the king of pentacles here so someone who's very solid and stable and grounded this could be um a virgo taurus capricorn or like i was just saying someone solid stable reliable this person has a lot of material wealth they could be a business owner or an investor or just someone um who would probably be like really high up in, in, a, in a company or organization they make sure everyone's well pro provided for they make a really good parent um and then we have the wounded warrior here. So yeah, so, so this person could, if this is, doesn't represent yourself, um, this person could see you as somewhat as like a wounded warrior and um, wants to help you out and maybe is able to give you an opportunity to create and um, heal at the same time and like be paid for it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's because they see you as like the wounded warrior. They see that you've been through a lot and you've come out on the other side and that you might actually have a lot of value now to, to people because of that. Um, so there could be some indecision. You guys might feel a little indecisive at the end of August in regards to something. It seems like it has to do with defeat, betrayal. Um, but just know that there is going to be victory. So even if you felt powerless in a situation or you felt um you know things weren't just or someone was spoiling for a fight or like maybe someone won but didn't feel good or just like defeat or or um, betrayal like just know there's gonna be justice from that okay there'll be justice you won't feel powerless in the situation anymore um but uh you, from you'll also get this victory from standing your ground okay so standing your ground standing up for what you believe in sharing your knowledge 
Um, this is someone, like, kind of also, like, just, like, battling it out at the end there, you know? Um, but there will be victory, success, and triumph for, for your efforts and for everything that you've been through. And this completes a cycle. This completes a cycle. You're now on top of the world. Uh, someone could really be in their power here with the emperor. You might be stepping into some big leadership role. Um, this person's really powerful. They can be a public uh, figure, or, like someone really notable. Um, but yeah, people are really drawn to this person. They can make a really good influencer as well. Able to influence um, situations and events. And people um, might even be in the limelight a little bit with this. Is what's coming through. Um, this could also be representative of Aries. Uh, so for some of you, you could also, um, I just, like, I heard a boss, like, come through. Um, and then some stuff that fell out for you guys. So just randomly, um, you guys got the lovers and the ace of cups. So, uh, wow, definitely a new beginning within your love life. This is seems really romantic. Like, this is really beautiful energy that's coming through here. There's a lot of love, compassion, sensuality. These are two people really, like, intertwined and, like, really exploring their love. Um, and then you guys... Um, had uh okay so you had this queen and king here so you have the queen of pentacles and the king of swords so we could be dealing with earth so virgo taurus capricorn or we could be dealing with air gemini libra aquarius um but this queen is very solid and stable very nurturing could really like the outdoors um has material wealth um she makes a really good mother really good boss um like she's just kind of well-rounded and then we have this air sign here where someone um you know they could sometimes come off a little cold and detached uh but they are really smart uh they're just really focused on what it is they're doing um they take action um but it is kind of like well thought out um so that energy was coming through with uh feeling left out in the cold or like um or maybe even like some there's things, there's an upset. Some sort of upset must have happened. There was some sort of maybe heartache. Um, there may have been some like sneakiness or deceptiveness or some sort of betrayal or, um, uh, but yes, this is someone being really upset about things that didn't work out, especially in the past. And they're kind of like engrossed and crying over um, what didn't work out in front of them and missing things opportunities or things in the in the background um and then we had this nine of pentacles so uh maybe some of you decided to become single um or you know maybe something transpired but this is someone who is independent on their own they have a lot of financial um wow i heard financial freedom but i meant a lot of like uh just like financial stability this is someone um who's like will be well provided for. Um, they don't really like have to worry too much about earthly or like material wealth. Um, and yeah, they're solid and stable on their own. Someone very independent um, that doesn't really kind of need anyone. Okay, so from the angels, they said that happy changes. Your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create a real and joyful change in your life. Events begin to move forward and a great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust in your guidance and receive. Uh, Ten of Abundance. Heaven has provided so many blessings for you and your family members um, and are bonded and working together. The children are provided for and the comfortable retirement will one day come along. You've taught your family the grace that comes from knowing the right from wrong and you should be very proud of yourself. And then you guys also got help of abundance. Although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help you out. This card indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend, someone with a big heart and a quick wit and endless patience. That person could even be you. Ten of Abundance. Life may be feeling a little out of balance right now. You could be working on multiple jobs or trying to make a change towards your dream career. It is important to keep things light and stay in touch with your inner child. Make your work as playful as possible. Multitasking with a positive attitude will bring you success. Perfect. 
Well, thank you so much, guys, for letting me tap into your energy. I'm just going to close out with some words from your galactic family. And they say to you, your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. Trust me, you are ready for this. Okay, guys, I'm sending you so much love, light, and healing. Bye.